Hi, so uh, last week, Saturday on June the 1st was Pride, or maybe the beginning of Pride Month. Anyway, uh, that was a day when I was in Utrecht and there was a Pride parade with quite a number of boats that we're going to be looking at today. So let's get started. So when we arrived around four of the boats we were looking at weren't really moving yet, so there were some still photos I took of them. But then we walked uh, into the city centre at the Utrecht Canal. We saw quite a couple of them passing our viewpoint. <laughs> These boats bring attention to many LGBT issues like LGBT people who had to flee their country due to war or because they were uh, prosecuted for their identity for health issues like HIV AIDS as well as exclusion from the jobs and housing markets. Of course uh, there were a load of companies and support groups uh, in the parade and while some of them, I mean a lot of them, are genuine there was also some obvious pinkwashing between. For example a school board or two participated, one of which actually had my secondary school in it. Uh, the problem with it is that I was quite bullied for my non-binary identity over there. Uh, plus of course the whole nature of coercive education is extremely exclusive and anti-diversity. I've made video after video after video about this, for which I have a playlist in the video description and maybe a little card as well. Of course, the same cannot be said about universities and uh, student associations who participated in the Pride. Uh, we saw quite a number of them from Utrecht uh, and of course there's also the uh, similar associations in Eindhoven like Queero40, which is why I'm going to join in anytime soon, maybe. a little bit more inward on the canal system there were quite a couple other boats that we came across but we also saw a lot of pride flags of different kinds uh, as well as the ukrainian flag which is also really supportive against the uh, anti-lgbt russian empire from Grazny. and one of these boats tackled a very specific problem namely that of uh, discrimination against intersex people who um, are born kind of between male and female and often have to uh, undergo surgeries at a very young age which basically forced them into a gender binary even though the uh, people probably didn't want that. So that is just about it about the Utrecht Pride. Um, I, overall I think it was a pretty nice uh, Pride to go to. Uh, it was less busy uh, than the Amsterdam Pride and it's more about the uniqueness of human beings which is something we should always strive to celebrate. Not just in a single day or a single month but we should pay attention to it during our entire daily lives. See you next time. Bye bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.